F1 has begun blocking views of the race on parts of Las Vegas Boulevard, another new casino is in the plans for the strip, and one man found the biggest legal loophole to use against casinos in the history of Nevada. We've got all that and more, so get ready for this month's video of Las Vegas news, updates, and rumors for November 2023. The latest tourist numbers show that from the beginning of 2023 through the end of August, an estimated 27.1 million people have visited Las Vegas, which is a 7. 6% increase from last year. The average price for room on the strip is now $190, an 11% increase, and the average room price in downtown has reached $99, a 5.7% increase. The strip has made $5.7 billion so far in gambling revenue, a 6% increase, and downtown has made $587 million, a 4.1% increase. A man who was kicked out of a casino in Southern Nevada must be paid the jackpot he won after he went back in to play slots. Ron Wilson had been trespassed seven times from the Casablanca Casino after failing to pay for a drink. However, over the past several months, he has re-entered the casino and won three jackpots. The Nevada Gaming Control Board ruled that Wilson must be paid the over $2,000 he won on the slot, despite his previous encounters with the property. Although it is a policy and not a law, the Nevada Gaming Control Board has had a long history of requiring that patrons be paid if they win a jackpot. The MGM and Caesars hacking situation is largely behind us now. One of the few areas being affected still is if you're planning to apply for an MGM credit card. You're currently not able to apply in person at the rewards desk, so an online application is the only option. Another change MGM has made is that they are not going to implement their partnership with Marriott Bonvoy until early 2024. Upon a recent visit to an MGM rewards desk, we were informed by staff that MGM will not be status matching with Marriott. F1 has begun blocking the views of the race from the pedestrian bridges on the strip that will be part of the track. Workers recently put up a film over the glass so that people on the bridge cannot see out to the strip. Plans are to add a cover to each bridge as well so that people don't try to look over the glass. F1 weekend roommates were reported to have fallen last month and were recently reported to have fallen again. The race will be just before Thanksgiving and will be the first year in a multi-year deal to have the race in Las Vegas. A new casino is in the plans for the Las Vegas Strip, this time above the Fashion Show Mall. A recent news release made public the plans from Howard Hughes Holding Company, with only so much room left available on the stretch of land from the Las Vegas sign to the strap, there's only a handful of options for new casinos to be built. A proposal has yet to be submitted to Clark County, and the FAA has not conducted any studies of the Fashion Show Mall in order to see how tall a building could be safely built on the land. Howard Hughes Corp. did not give details into the project, so only time will tell its progress going forward. The Fremont Casino in downtown has finished its $50 million renovation project. This was a project we had reported on in past update videos. The project included a new food court and casino upgrades to include a FanDuel sportsbook. As many other Vegas area casinos have done, Fremont chose to do away with its Paradise Buffet in order to provide six different food hall options instead. The renovation also gave the property more room to add just over 100 additional slot machines with the new space now available on the casino floor. If you haven't been to the Fremont Casino in downtown Vegas in a while, you will definitely notice that it has a much more modern feel to it now. A new attraction from Asia is coming to the center of the Strip in late November. Arte Museum is an immersive digital art venue produced by South Korean company District. The venue will be 30,000 square feet and cost $25 million to build. It will be located at the new 63 building at the intersection of Las Vegas Boulevard and Harmon. The new attraction will capture all five senses of guests in order to fully experience all 14 projections of being digitally immersed into nature. Tickets will cost $28 and the grand opening is on November 29th. It looks like the Sphere made a good choice in having U2 be its opening performers for the historic venue. The demand to see U2 at the Sphere has been so high that they have added 11 more shows in January and February of 2022. Tickets go on sale in late October. A new speakeasy is set to open soon in the Vegas Valley. Wax Rabbit is an immersive cocktail lounge that will be hidden behind the walls of Mijo Modern Mexican Restaurant inside of Durango Station when it opens up on Tuesday, November 21st. Wax Rabbit is said to combine the feeling of being underground with some of Mexico's finest spirits and exceptional drinks. The venue will feature DJs that will be on turntables every night 
giving guests a feeling of nostalgia while they enjoy the drinks and the speakeasy atmosphere. As a follow-up to one of our previous videos, Houston billionaire Tillman Fertitta is still planning to build a hotel and casino. Project plans on the six acres of land have been modified to now include construction of pickleball courts. The original plans so far have remained the same. 2,400 rooms, convention space, restaurants, a spa, a wedding chapel, and a theater. The Federal Aviation Administration completed a study showing that the building could safely reach a maximum height of 538 to 574 feet. The county is still reviewing the numerous permits for construction that have been submitted. Once approved, work is likely to begin quickly on building the Las Vegas Strip's newest property. The Las Vegas Aces won the WNBA championship for the second year in a row. They defeated the New York Liberty in game four to win the series three to one. The Aces scored six straight points for a 70 to 64 lead before Liberty made one final push before winning the game 70 to 69. The Aces won the game despite being shorthanded with two of their starters out due to injuries. Head coach Becky Hammond has now led the team to two titles in her first two seasons as a head coach at the professional level. Congrats, ladies. Several new bars and restaurants are opening up in Las Vegas. Bourbon Street Parade opened up on the Strip at the Grand Bazaar shops in front of Horseshoe. The bar celebrates the music and culture of New Orleans with everything from music to drinks. No Mamas Way opened up in the southwest part of town. The taqueria will serve drinks, a variety of tacos, nachos, quesadillas, burritos, and combo plates. Zippy's officially opened their first location outside of Hawaii in Las Vegas on October 10th, also in the southwest part of town. The Venetian Hotel and Casino recently announced that their convention facilities will be getting a $188 million renovation. The project will cover a three-year span from 2024 to 2026. This renovation is part of a plan to invest $1 billion into the entire resort. The new convention center will offer lounge-style spaces for executives, a new speakeasy that will host invitation-only events, and design that combines contemporary architecture with a traditional feel. The Venetian does have the largest privately-owned convention center in the United States and the third biggest one overall. News recently came out that Nevada won't require esports participants to test for performance-enhancing drugs for competitions. The Nevada Gaming Commission revised a regulation to enable books to allow betting on esports with most of the same restrictions that apply for conventional sports. However, there is no requirement to test esports participants for performance enhancing drugs. Representatives of the Entertainment Software Association said it would be virtually impossible to prevent operators to assure books that its participants wouldn't use some form of drug while participating. Although a state government affairs representative acknowledged the possibility of participants using Adderall, she also noted there is no empirical evidence that any particular substance gives a material performance enhancing benefit to esports players. The North American Poker Tour is returning to Las Vegas after a 12-year hiatus. The event will take place from November 4th to the 12th at Resorts World Casino on the Strip. The main event will be from the 6th to the 11th with a $1.5 million guarantee. The tournament is expected to bring together the world's best players to compete for the coveted NAPT Las Vegas title and a massive prize pool. Before diving into the rumors section, we will rapid fire more Vegas updates. Freakling Bros canceled this year's Halloween Haunted House. Peter Luger's Steakhouse is officially open inside of Caesars Palace. The Mraz Volcano will be closed into the first week of December. Dream Hotel at the south end of the Strip is still at a complete standstill since the project was put on hold back in March. No update from President Biden on making resort fees illegal. No word if the Clark County Commission will give F1 $40 million in public funding. The Culinary Union is still in contract negotiations with MGM Resorts, Caesars Entertainment, and Wynn Resorts. Someone won the Mega Bucks slot at Excalibur and is now a millionaire after winning just over $12 million. The Raiders recently defeated the Packers and Patriots but lost to the Bears. The Golden Knights are off to a red hat start for the NHL season. The Clark County Fire Department is seeking volunteer firefighters to help serve in rural parts of the county. And less than a month after Durango Station Casino opens, the Fontainebleau Hotel and Casino will open on the Strip on December 13th. As a follow-up to a rumor from a previous video, Christina Aguilera is in fact getting her own residency at the Venetian's new cabaret-style club, Voltaire. Another rumor is that Las Vegas may be hosting some FIFA 2026 World Cup matches. No further word on the possible situation. Be sure to follow for next month's December edition as we close out the year. We'll see you there. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.